Oh well, good sense of geography, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, they're, they're very good. I've seen yes. Right. Hey. hey. What's your plan of action? To... What? Mine is flat for the blocks. Debbie Sanderson, can you come to the bus please? Thank you. He knows it. <laughs> oh, super. Oh, that's super. Oh, excellent. Yeah, no, you think there was a parade in there. Parades about this big and rattles around. Is he No, he's, 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 he's pedigree. He's pedigree. Yeah, but the, the, I mean, there's the... Thank <laughs> you. 
was always about the kick-off of the process leading up to the referendum in 2014. Now the Yes campaign is the official campaign. We are simply here to bring you out year on year. And I consider every single one of you here today as the foot soldiers to encourage more people to come next year. If every person brings two people, we'll have twice. You know the math. What I want to see is you bringing four people with you next year. Also, we will be running trains from Aberdeen, from Glasgow, from Inverness. We're going to ram this gardens with lots of people. 2014, 2014 is the big one. Now, we'll never fit in here in 2014 because this has got a limited capacity. But this is what we're building up to. It's always been about the three marches and rallies. 
and as I say, I am extremely proud of every one of you because as much as I put a lot of effort into this, you've made a big effort to be here. It's not an easy thing to travel from 6.30 from Wick, or should say Inverness, and you're up in the middle of the dead of the night, and everybody has made a tremendous effort. So please give yourselves a huge round of applause. I've just got a basic job here, which is to introduce a fine set of speakers, but just to very, very briefly go over what Jeff said. Uh, it's an interesting set of speakers here on the stage today, but it's absolutely about all of you. You all turn to each other, you blather with each other, you find out your stories, and then you figure out how to tell that story to the rest of the, to the, rest of the country so we can get to independence. Um, I've been dreaming of this ever since I was a wee boy. I can't believe. rising, although maybe not, because the first of our speakers is a man who is literally as much of an icon as Shrek, Billy Conley, Brave, whatever you want to call it, this man sums up every icon, Scotty Ryan has ever existed. Could you please give a small, modest welcome for Alex Salmon, please? Independence 
was now the most popular option. That is a Scottish to meet a lot of my heroes over the last 25 years and here's one now if there's ever a candidate for the wisest mind in Scottish independence politics it has to belong to this woman she takes her own time in everything and she's going to take her own time to get to this podium but could you please cheer her every step of the way Margot
We ditched it because it was too much of a boast then. And it'll still be too much of a boast until we are, until we make Scotland the best free country in the world. You know, it's great to be in the side of the angels just for once. Should become a stranger, you know that. 
Scotland on stage. I remember this guy when he was an extremely cheeky student at Glasgow University pestering a certain rector of Glasgow University in 1990 to investigate racism in the dental school. And he was right as well. 